Hey everybody, we're going to take a quick look at a new iPad app called Emphase, which allows you to control programs like Logic. It's actually a really cool application. And the reason why I think it's worth looking at is because it's taking something that has been done by a number of other applications and turning it on its head and looking at it in a completely new way. Now, that's not to say that I think that this app has fully fleshed out the entire concept because I still think there's some room to grow, especially when it comes to things like effects. But I think that as a concept, it's very exciting. So what we have here is our iPad screen, and the whole concept is really based around the idea that you don't need to look at your iPad while mixing. So it's kind of a eyesight-free experience. Now that is something which with other apps you don't have because they're designed to look like mixing boards and so you have a bunch of little knobs you have to worry about touching and you have a bunch of faders which you have to worry about touching. Well here everything is dependent by the number of fingers you use and which half of the screen you're on. So for instance we could push three fingers and it's gonna push play. We can push three again to stop it. Now we have a bunch of things around the edges of our interface and those things you can't just accidentally hit to activate. Those have to be touched, pulled, and then they can do some things. So for instance, we have our two big circles which are different tracks and I can move my thumb on the left one. It flashes when I hit the maximum level. Well, you can see the corresponding fader down below and the percentage up on the circle in the app. So that's pretty cool. Now, if I want to change what's being mixed, then I can simply pull from the top where all the lists are, and that will switch over to the other one. You'll see that that motion comes down gives you a nice visual to say that it's switching and then it switched. So we can do up to two at a time. Now we have other gestures as well. For instance, if we do double tap with three fingers, puts us into transport mode, and then we can use two fingers side to side to go through and either play or rewind. Three takes us back out. The little red knobs at the bottom, the triangles, that puts our track into record mode. And once we're in record mode, we can do four finger gesture and it will actually record. So there's a number of different really cool things. We can also move into one track mode by pulling the corner and back and forth. Okay, so the point here is not necessarily to go through every little detail of this app, but I just want to show you kind of the new way that this is looking at controlling our DAW, and it's really doing it in a very cool, stylized way, which while it's very interesting, it showcases the power of having a multi-touch interface in the hands of someone who's willing to really think through a design I do think that there's some room to grow with this app, and over the next few versions, I think we're going to see some really great stuff coming through this. In terms of the setup for this, let's look at that real quickly. I think that's worthwhile as well. We're going to come into our audio MIDI setup, and in here, we have our network option. If you double click it brings up our MIDI network setup. If you're on the same network your iPad should show up and you can click connect here. Inside our actual app we have our settings. All we really need to do is choose the digital audio workstation we're working with and then we can do some stuff with our colors and some sensitivity. We can also look at some of these options over here. 
Again, we're not going through every detail, but I want to show quickly how to set that up. In Logic, what we need to do is come through and say install. We're doing Mackie Huey. We click on add, and then we just need to make sure that we have session one selected for both of those. Every once in a while, I have to restart the app after I make the first connection, but that's really it. It's that simple as long as you're on the same network. Okay, that's what I wanted to look at for this. Hope you enjoyed looking at this and read the full article at padgadget.com.